I'm Rob from Cypherglass, and today I want to pass along news about a brand new category of digital goods coming to the D-Goods standard. You see, the D-Goods standard encompasses all digital goods, whether they're non-fungible, fungible, or somewhere in between, but today that has been clarified and classified a little bit further. You see, when D-Goods was first announced a few weeks or maybe more than a month ago now, it sort of encompassed NFTs at the time or non-fungible unique tokens. So if this flamethrower behind me was a one of one in a video game, it would make sense for me as that game developer to create one unique flame or flamethrower token to represent that digital good. But in the case that there are, say, a thousand of these flamethrowers throughout my game that all have different serial numbers between one and a thousand, it would make sense for me to create what's called a semi-fungible token. You see, a semi-fungible token is something that is not unique. It is not a one of one like a non-fungible token, and it is not totally limitless like, say, a mana potion in a game, which may have an unlimited amount that can be created over a specific period of time, but it's actually somewhere in between where you have a limited edition of something or you have, say, a hundred different swords that all have slightly different attributes but are ultimately all the same item that would be an instance where you would use semi-fungible tokens. And of course, this applies so far beyond gaming as well to so many other use cases. For example, if I'm selling digital tickets to, say, a Taylor Swift concert, I could sell 10,000 different tickets to that event, and each individual token could have its specific row number and seat number, and whether or not, maybe it was entered into a random drawing for a VIP pass. There are so many cool things that you can build into semi-fungible tokens for not just games, but so many other industries and applications as well. So this is the latest announcement from the people over at DGoods who also just recently announced that ITAM Games, a huge game developer that is releasing more than 20 games on EOS this year alone, has announced that they will be using the DGoods standard as well. So just another game developer out of the many that have already committed to using DGoods in their applications to push this standard forward. So until next time, I'm Rob from Cypherglass, and remember, go EOS!